Hi guys, it's Steve at Golf Tech Systems. We are in the Abingdon Demo Center. Exciting video for us today. We are looking at Unicor's latest beta update. Now, this is inside their view software and it is specific to Swing Optics cameras. So you do need Unicor Swing Optics cameras for this to basically work. But I wanted to, to uh, discuss this one today because as a package and where Unicor is actually going now in terms of what they're bringing to the table, when you look at this as a bundle price compared to other systems out there, there's quite a lot of value in this. And that's why I wanted to address this today, show you what you're actually getting, show you what Unicor is working on and what they're actually bringing. Now, we are using Unicor IV Lite, so that is their, their cheapest system, obviously, out of the run, um, but very, very good. It needs to be hardwired, so it's an indoor unit, you know, it's not portable in that sense, and it needs PC, there's no iPad or anything like that. But if you're looking for an indoor setup, great value, very, very good value. Um, setup in here today is a little bit different, so we have got our studio floodlight on. We normally have two, but one blinding out the camera a little bit, so we've got one. And the reason of that is it's basically enhancing uh, the hitting area for the swing analysis cameras. Now, before hitting shots, I'll just go into the software because one of the things that's quite important with um, looking at swing cameras and looking at your own setup, it is lighting. Lighting is something that does get overlooked a fair bit. And the way to address this is if you've got control of lighting, you're going to be in a good position. If you've got options of lighting, you're going to be in a good position. So studio floodlights, normal room lights, dimmers on the normal room lights, control the lighting is key when you're building a golf simulator. And this is a good example because we've got the studio floodlight on, we've got the BenQ 4K 5100 lumen projector on, so it is very, very good, that projector. We, we know that. A lot of people go for that projector. You do get a bit of washout when that floodlight's on, but that's enhancing what we're going to see on the swing analysis. And the good thing with Unicor is if I just go into uh, live mode and then into settings, you can play around with how the image looks when you change the lighting. So the good thing with that is if, if you want the swing cameras running while you're playing and accept that they're going to be a little bit not as good when you've got all the lighting on, you can obviously adjust for that. Then when you've got your lighting on, you can readjust and enhance the image even better. So there is some good flexibility with Unicor in that. Uh, let's get a shot away, and then obviously we'll have a look at what we're uh, what we're going through this in Peter. Uh, so and we are GS Pro, well-known French golf course has been played this week. So uh, yeah, let's get a shot out there and see what we can see. Too bad, turned out over a little bit. Now we'll take that. That's good. So when we get over to the software, this is all about in the replay function. And you can see now that we've got our swing lines on the screen there. And so I just go back to replay so you can see it again. So it's really, really good that you can actually see now exactly what you're doing with your swing path, backswing and follow through. Now, there are a few things to note. On the right hand side, you have got the position points. So they're numbered, and you can see those numbers along the bottom of the swing, uh, along the, like, the, uh, the slider there to play the video through. So you've got the address, the takeaway, the backswing, the top, the downswing, impact, follow through and finish. Now the nice thing is, is you can jump to one of those key points. So if we wanted to go to, say, the top of the swing, we can just click number four, and that instantly goes to the top of the swing. So again, a really nice thing to go through there. Now you have got a new box down bottom right, which is swing tempo. So that looks on second, and you can put it into a ratio. Now again, first instance, you might go, oh, don't know what that means, and what am I trying to get to? Well, again, if you go to the question mark at the top of the screen, we can then get an information about what we're looking at for swing tempo and what the optimums are. And again, you can have a look into this um, and it will give you an idea of what you're looking at for swing tempo. I think that's a really, really neat thing. And as I say, if we just slow, I'm not sure if I don't want to see my swing sometimes, if we just slow my swing down there on the, on the downswing, it's really easy to see where that path is. It's very, very visible. It's very, very straightforward. Now, we have also got AI Trainer, which we've tapped on before. So if we go into the shop and select it, that will then load up those different key points with AI Trainer doing some um, breakdowns of the swing and showing us what we might be doing wrong, what we might want to improve, etc. So that's just loading up at the moment. All of this, remember, is in beta. So again, you might find some bugs to it at the moment. We don't know whether there's going to be any sort of um, 
costs involved in this when it actually does come out of beta. Again, that's yet to be decided. But again, when you've got the AI trainer, you know, saying I'm awesome, very nice swing, I'll take that all day long. You have got all use those different key points. But as I say, even the, the update now in the swing today has got a very nice, um, it's just easy to see when you're hitting balls exactly what you are doing. And I, I think that's a really, really cool feature. So the way to consider this and the way that I always explain to customers when they're looking at buying the system, you know, if this is something that you're really into and, and you like this sort of thing, you like looking at the swing and delving in and understanding what you're doing, think of it more as a package. Don't think of it as individual products. Because a lot of people say, oh, you know, the swing cameras are nearly just under two grand for the pair. It's a lot of money. It is. It is a lot of money. But Unicry Mini Light is about three grand, just over three grand. Cameras, a couple of grand, so you're at five k. If you said to me today, even if you went back a few years and went, you're going to get a tracking device that's going to be as quick and as accurate as this, with swing analysis, that's very, very good, and with that software that can do that, bundle GS Pro on the 250 bucks, five grand, that is an amazing rabbit. And then if you start looking at that comparing to, you know, the device and protein, you're talking over six grand, no cameras, just the base software, GC3, very, very good device, same data as you'll get out of all light, just under eight grand, all right, you get their FSX play software, but again, most people didn't jump into GS Pro. Jumping over that, you know, your track hands and stuff like that, and, you know, big, big cash. So I actually think, if you think of it as a bundle price, five grand just over with the swing cameras, the tracking, looking at that, as I say, WAC GS Pro, that's tremendous value. And that's only getting stronger. View software, what they're bringing out, what they're actually doing is only getting stronger. The last thing to note is obviously club data, you do get what we, uh, the one dot sticker on the club. That will give you par, speed, and attack angle. I've got no sticker on the club today, so if you're wondering why there's a couple of data points missing, that's exactly why. But I think that's great value, a lovely update from uh, from View Software, from Unicorn. Things are only getting better with them. I think it's great value. If you need any more information, visit us at www.golfdexsystems.com.